Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join Bailey and I today out here in the vegetable garden. You know, it's a beautiful day here in late October. Well, you know, back in August 3rd, I planted some of my curly leaf kale seedlings inside my lean-to greenhouse. And so today I thought we would go harvest some of those beautiful looking plants. So, so thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. Well, here at our Plant Smart Living Gardens, you know, I really like planting greens. You know, they're so healthy for us, full of phytonutrients and, and uh, fiber. And, um, you know, what's nice about the greens, like your Swiss chard or your curly leaf kale or your mustard greens or your collard greens, is that, is that they're pick and come again. In other words, as long as you continue to pick the outside stalk, you know, you don't want to pick the center shoot. As long as you continue to pick the outside stalk, they're going to continue to produce right through the season, you know. So, you know, you can spend a couple dollars for a pack of seeds and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll last you, and the harvest will last you all summer because you're only going to, like here in our gardens, I only planted a, a couple eight-foot rows of collard greens or I planted some mustard greens this year. Up in the greenhouse, I did end up buying those seedlings from Ray's Nursery nearby. I ended up buying them for like a dollar sixty for a market pack of six, so they're a really great deal. But you know, you can feed your whole family with with greens, you know, because again, they are picking gum come again, and so I just love that whole idea. So anyhow, you know, the uh, Lean to Greenhouse is a couple of minutes away from me here, and uh, let's follow me along and let's go go take a look at those uh, curly leaf kales, kale plants inside the lean-to greenhouse. So the lean-to greenhouse is up around the corner there. So here we are. Let's go take a look at that beautiful curly leaf kale plants inside the greenhouse. Okay, so let's start harvesting some of these beautiful kale plants. And so these were some of the curly leaf kale plants that I planted back in August. And also at the very end I have some broccoli plants back there. But they've done really well in here, being protected by those aphids and the looper worm. Looking forward to harvesting some of these. Also on the roof here I have my row covers that I use throughout the summer. Still allows the rain to pass through in the air and so the plants get watered in here once it rains. I also have a couple 55 gallon rain barrels that I have a utility pump in that I water these with during the summer. And so the one nice thing too about curly leaf kale is that it's a cold hardy plant. In other words, you can plant an early crop, early spring of the kale and also in the fall, which I did here. And so uh, this harvest here or these plants in here will allow me to have kale th throughout the winter and you know even if it's if you don't have it underneath a row cover you know it'll still usually survive out there you know even underneath the snow and like I said earlier too you know the kale here is a pick and come again so as long as you pick the outer leaves it'll continue to produce and har a harvest and leaves right through the season 
And so that's a really nice advantage of growing these greens. And so if we take a closer look here at this stalk here, you can see you have some branches, you could say, of the kale. And so you just want to go around and pick the outer pieces off, leaving that center shoot alone. You can see the center shoot right there if you look closely. I also have these plants growing in my composted leaf mulch that's amended with topsoil. I end up getting like uh, 10 yards this spring from Barnside Compost and that's going to last me a good year and a half. It's, that would be, that was end up being a big pile. And, uh, and so they really thrive here uh, growing in that medium. And so I'm going to continue harvesting some more of these leaves. Enough so that my wife and I, we can have dinner. We generally like to steam our, our greens. It's a nice, easy, effective way of doing it. And also, you know, greens only need partial shade, you know, maybe four to six hours. I always say if you're growing something with a root or fruit, you need a good six to eight hours, you know, the more the better. You know, like tomatoes, peppers, all your melons, zucchini, they like a good eight hours of sun. You know, your plants like your kale here, or your collard greens or lettuce, you know, they can get away with partial sun, partial shade. And so that's always a good way to, you know, good information to learn so you can plan your garden around that. Around that. So I'm just gonna pick a few more and uh, that's gonna be a nice supply for us for dinner. So this greenhouse I built here a couple years ago, it's like seven foot by 16 foot. I was able to build it for under like a hundred dollars. You know, being a lean to, uh, it makes it more affordable to build. And so, you know, it's not a huge greenhouse, but it has really worked well for me uh, here on, the, on our property. And so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the garden, harvesting these beautiful curly leaf plants. And so if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And so I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the garden. So I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.